percentage. He leads the t entire defense, and he, we'll see where he co comes in, but he's in tremendous talent. So it should be a fun matchup as Duke number one in the country, Princeton number 15. As we get things started here from Koskinen Stadium, so happy you could join us on a Sunday morning turned afternoon. The Princeton Tigers 3-1 over goal of the season for Chad Palumbo, making his fifth straight start. Had a hat trick against Monmouth, two against Manhattan. And he's up to his 10th point of the season. And Princeton is on the board first. We saw the Tigers start well against UNC. They picked up a 15 to nine win in that contest. And they're picking up where they left off. Yeah, I thought they played very tough. That was a game where, you know, th at that point in the evening, the rain was coming down. His Ivy League All-Tournament last year where he scored four goals in the tournament. As Princeton will take the face off. That's an area where you think Duke can improve after their last game against Penn. I mean, well, they, they have the best face-off guy in the nation in Jake, I think, in Jake uh, Meso. He, he didn't play as well the other night. Um, and so right now, down, lucky he found the back of the net. That's the most important thing. But I want to see somebody go down, especially this early in the game, important player like Zawada. Yeah. Tigers win the face off. Quick moving. Yeah, sometimes you got to say, like, you pen forced them to make a lot of those careless mistakes or errors or things of that nature. So, um, you know, I, I think that th this is a game where it's got to be a full reset because those kinds of numbers are not going to bring you deep in. Double digit goals for McAdory. And you painted it well against one of the best goalies in the entire country. That's not an easy thing to do, and he just flicked that right past him. And I think part of that can be attributed to the deception. Well, his if you you know I've I've been with him and seen him when he's not playing and just you know watching him and how fizz kind of gain their footing throughout the last five six minutes. Uh, yeah, well, I've seen Duke. First of all, we're not making first half mistakes that we made against UPenn, so that's number one. I think they're being smarter. They're finding the open guy off of the dodges. So they, you know, they dodge and they look for the open person. And that would be Zawada, that, that play that set up McAdory for the penalty. Um, that would be Balsamo right now setting up Dyson. So they're, they're, they're looking for that extra pass, which is making, making, finding open players who have better shooting opportunities. Last four belonging to the Blue Devils. You have mud, mud like that, it can either hit and die and then, and then throw the goalie's timing off, or it can hit and accelerate. And that's when that one happened. It, it hit and it skipped. It's like tennis when you have topspin on a serve. It hits and then it accelerates. You see the Blue Devils right now are playing basically like Princeton played against Carolina. They're, the other night, they're controlling the middle third of the field. They're winning the 50-50s, and they're all over. They're charging right now, and I think that that's a lot of... 4.3 seconds remain, the 13th goal for Zawada. He came in with 29 points already. Michigan transfer, all Big Ten first team. And the Blue Devils have to feel good about where they're feeling going into the second quarter, leading six of which were on goal. For six Princeton saves as they have a 6-2 to two lead, and they'll take the opening faceoff of quarter number two. And direct an immediate attack. Going straight for the jugular. Yeah, uh, they're going to get their subs on right now. They're on the right side. Question mark switches over to a strong left hand. It just pounds it home. It's another hat trick for Zawada. And this Duke team, seven unanswered. As they are breaking it open after the Princeton Tigers. They really shell-shocked. It felt like Duke for just a moment. First couple minutes, Princeton was up 2-0 in, in game out and play like he's playing so far. In, in a way, because you're a freshman, you are nervous. But in another way, because you're a freshman, you have nothing to lose, right? So you're, you know, you're, 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 you're excited, um, but it's good nervous energy, right? And I think, you know, the thing is, when you see a freshman and today, Princeton will look for an answer. It's been over 22 minutes since they've scored. Here's a prime opportunity, and they do just that. Colin Burns making his mark on this contest with his first goal of the game. Yeah, it was a very nice, very nice face-off, leading to quick offense. Uh, really pressured and uh, made the right pass. Got it off. Tic-tac-toe. A beautiful finish right there. 
over the head of Jameson, and uh, that's the way it's supposed to look. That's a textbook fast break off the off the face. 11th goal of the season for the freshman Colin Burns, the high school All-American. He did not score against the Maryland Terrapins, but he has three or more goals in three games this year. Yeah, I mean these these freshmen are, are really just playing way above their station for for Princeton, and that's good to see. Tigers trying to claw their way back in, trailing by six. They snapped an over 23-minute scoreless drought. And we'll give that to Princeton. The Tigers will regain possession. Yes. Yeah, so but Duke has again added on with the Caputo goal to extend that lead back to seven. Yeah. And uh, Jake and Jake Naso is playing really well at the X right now. So you know that that is a big difference between this game and last game and I think he he dug deep and said you know what do I need to do he's going out there trying to execute as we have another timeout yeah. it really is a tale of two games for the Blue Devils as Williams gets the hat trick four seconds left before the second quarter ends and that will send us to halftime 11 to 3 Duke with the lead at the break and a beautiful goal to finish things off with under 10 seconds left. Duke comes through in a big way. We will take us to halftime with another replay of that goal. Duke just didn't go down by eight perhaps at the break, but at the same time, you know this is a capable team, to your point, that can put goals together if they have to. Right, and what you just saw right there at the X is a big reason why we're having a different, the, the Devils are having a different experience uh, today is because they are winning the faceoffs. They still doing a great end. So the Blue Devils in tremendous shape to bounce back from their defeat against UPenn. Their next home game against the Providence Friars, of course, on the 13th. But Duke is in position goals. He has been the fulcrum of the offensive attack today. And Duke is looking to pour it on further, leading already by double digits. Tigers regain possession. Badly needing a goal, trying to claw their way back into this one. And for Princeton, seven to six lead. Fourth quarter just getting underway between Penn and UNC. Princeton cashing in on a goal. Mackesy able to get one. Sneak it past Jamison. And it's been a tall task today. Sterling stuff today from the freshman. Allowed six goals are back. 30 seconds for the Tigers. That's the fourth goal today for Dyson Williams. Under 30 to play. And they are playing excellent today, and especially Jamison in net. He has been sterling with 13 saves. And Duke in prime position to come away with this one, but they still have 15 minutes. They need the full, complete game effort if you're the Blue Devils, and if you're Princeton, have to try and take advantage. Yeah, it was a heady play right there by Tyler Carpenter. You know, he's a senior captain, All-American. You know, he's got an amazing ability. Straight games without a goal. And Griffin Rackauer now in the game for the Blue Devils. Yeah, Princeton transfer. Again, like Slusher, teammates. And it's got to be exciting. You're going up against a, a program you were once part of their DNA. So they're serving the penalty right now, and the goal counted. That was a, that was another another sort of what I would call box lacrosse, definitely Canadian influence goal by Dyson Williams. Picked it up and shovel shot right into the back. Beautiful play. Now they're man down right now, the the Tigers, and they are getting swarmed by the Devils, and it looks like. Uh, the man up advantage will be preserved, although the ball is in the Blue Devils zone. And they're gonna have to fight to get it back out over and set up what is remaining of the man up opportunity. Look a little bit chaotic on the Tigers defense. There's no reason to go out there and play them that far out unless you really believe that you're gonna be able to strip the ball and go down the other way. And a tough guy to leave wide open as well, O'Neal. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> he tends to make you pay when you give him an opportunity like that. It's his 20th goal of the season. So it's an interference. Uh, it's sort of akin to a moving pick, but it's not a moving pick. It means you're sort of standing in the way on purpose. What a story. Alex Slusher, his second goal of the season. Honorable mention, all Ivy with Princeton. And a goal against Bellarmine earlier this season, but it's no stretch to say that this goal might mean a little bit more for him. Yeah, and I, you know, I think it's in this, summing up what we've seen here today is, you know, Duke was able to exert its will on Princeton. And the other night, UPenn did the same to Duke. You know, that, and that's really what, that's the dynamic. And you can break it down across all different parts of the game, all different facets of the game, different locations, different conditions. But when one team can exert its will and its, pl and its game plan, 73%. I mean, that's that's really remarkable. And I say that as the father of a college goalie. <laughs> like, you know, those are percentages that are stratospheric, as to borrow your words. And I just wanted, I'm interested in how that develops the rest, rest of the season because now he knows he can do it in a big game and do it in a huge way. Impressive. Some of their guys that they're rotating in. Um, so there's a good, it's a good goal of Coach Stanowski. He likes to make sure he gets a lot of players in big games like this so this is a good, great thing 10 seconds left as the Blue Devils putting the, fi the finishing touches on this one